So another day, there's not much going on today. Chris has quite a bit of cleaning out certain things that he needs to do out there. I've been working on making more space here in the cabin as well as in the RV. Um, so he's got some clearing out things that he needs to do that I can't do because it's a lot of his work stuff, art stuff, and things like that. I am getting ready to go outside, but I need to get the kids fed. It's going to be pretty windy today. So far, the sky, I don't know if you can see, it's super blue. And I don't see any chemtrails out there today, which is great because on my members video the other day, there is, um, I actually got it going. Because on my members video the other day, there was like, it was a great example of like the chemtrails. Like you would see the chemtrails and then they would turn into like longer chemtrails and then it was just full blown clouds. It was just, it's ridiculous. Somebody told me that it's not, that's not supposed to be legal here in Utah, but it is. Chris yeah. looked it up. So that kind of sucks, but um, right now, um, I get a lot of crap on the hat I wear. I, I don't really care, but I do feel like a fraud wearing it right now because right now I'm not either party. I'm just so, I think the government is seriously trying to cause a lot of separation and we the people with the left and the right, the fighting, the separation, the hate, just the anger towards everything. I feel like it's a bunch of horseshit and we the people need to step step up and you know work together because that's not how it's supposed to be here in America that from our founding fathers the government has definitely taken over a lot of our rights and our freedom anyways there's those thanks daddy he brought me my thyroid pill a baby aspirin and a beef liver pill so that's great um yeah anyways i feel like a fraud wearing the hat because of what me and chris have been talking about and right now I, like we talked about in our members video i think it's more we the people i think there's just so much hate with the left and the right right now it's, it's still just, not bad i mean out of the two he's is. the one if, yeah if you have to go down and narrow it down definitely i'm like you know he's certainly better for the country than, than biden yeah but i think it's all a big mess a big mess it's kind of funny the other day we were watching, what show were we watching, Daddy? It was called, that movie? Which one? That, um, that, um, and you were like, what if Trump is the Antichrist? And I was oh, like, okay, watching, time to time to go to bed now. <laughs> because of the, the because of the peace, like, he brings peace, like. He brought peace in places there hadn't been peace in generations. And that's and what I was like, oh, is said to do. Yeah. He will unite the you know, nations, bring forth ten nations. He will lead all of them, appointing a leader to one to each nation for the tribulation, the seven years of tribulation, um, as said in, in Revelations. And, hmm. and um, the beginning of it is... Uh, there's a few things that mark the beginning. War from the north against Israel. After that, the rest of it starts to fall in place. So we've got Israel at war with a few nations, specifically, um, you know, now Iran, Iraq, uh, Syria, Libya, uh, as well as Palestine. Uh, so I mean, there's there's a lot of things that that are going on right now that can definitely be read as biblical, for sure. And so that means that the Antichrist, when this starts to happen, that means the Antichrist is already here on Earth. That's what the Bible states. So we're looking at somebody who will bring peace. Now, the one thing that does change things a little bit about Trump being the Antichrist is. Trump doesn't believe in a unified monetary system worldwide. And that is one thing that it does say that the monies will be the same worldwide. Um, so that's the one thing that, that wouldn't put him in that position. But, but maybe is, there's a snake out there. What maybe. if it's that Rapasemi? I can't say his name. Ra what if it's him? Ramaswamy? <laughs> Who is the Antichrist? I know a lot of people don't believe in... A lot of people think Elon Musk is... Oh, I never heard that one. Uh, because of the mark. Mm. That's the other thing. The, the Antichrist will have the mark. The mark of the beast. And I don't think it's an actual physical mark. What's, what but is they're talking mark? about the mark being um, 
the fact that he's got these implants, these brain implants now that oh. people can do. And what if that's the mark, the, the implant? Or what if the mark was in the vaccine? Or, you know, there's there's a lot of so many conspiracy, conspiracy out there. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just really angry at politics right now because it's got me and my older daughter in like a debate. And she's at the, the age where it's their way or no way type thing. There's no open mind. There's no communicating. There's no like... And I'm just like, look at all the anger and the hate that politics brings right now. I'm just angry at politics. But anyways, we have a quite a bit of stuff to do today as in organizing. And the kids are fine. They're fighting over blocks. Hey, no biting your sister. Yeah, how'd that work? She just bit. Um, hey. Feel it? <laughs> Peanut, come here. Come here, Peanut. Why? Look at Peanut got new glasses. They're really cool. They have like this. What is all over your mouth? That's disgusting. Don't but he's it. got a new retainer and he's got glasses. We've had a lot of dental and eyeglass appointments today. But look at this cool little part right here in his nose. The circle part is cool. Girls, I have the Jeffrey Donald glasses. You got some Dahmer glasses? And you got a retainer too. I left the I left the marker on my bed. Open it when I myself. Nope. Look at Austin's nose. I think you had a bloody nose last night. It went into your mouth. It went into his nose. That's so gross, bloody Peanut. Oh. Wait, back down there, the girls are fighting over blocks. My kids don't like to um, share with one another at all. Not even a little bit. What I did yesterday, I hung up all the girls' dresses in my dress and I ran out of hangers. So I have some thrown over there, but we're going to be turning this area into two bunk beds for Freya and for women. There's a window above there, but I have stuff up there like prescriptions so I don't want to show. But um, anyways, this was going to be our kitchen that we're transforming into the girls' room. And I got the dresses hung up yesterday. Also have a window on this side. So there's a window on this side and the window on the other side. And up here, we're going to make a long bunk. Kind of like a RV style with a ladder going up the middle. So there's two beds. So there'll be one, two, three, four beds. I don't beds. think the long bunk's going to work because it's only 73 inches. Oh, well, looks like the long bed won't work. That's okay. We so don't need it. It's going to be bunks. Alrighty. So two bunks on each wall? Yeah, so two LCD right. bunks. That works. Except so I have some kids that want eggs for breakfast. I think eggs. I want some eggs too. And some want cereal. Eggs, 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 eggs. So Fishy, um, like, do you want to go get some goat feed out and put it on the wagon? I don't know. Do we have any bells underneath the... No, we should. Okay. Yeah, that yeah. We need to pull out a bell from the thing. We, I know we have to go get... Can you stop that? I know we have to go get more um, bells of Timothy or whatever alfalfa on Monday. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You just woke up. You could at least do something. Think I'm going to make you breakfast without you doing a chore? Burn your breakfast or make your own. Anyways, um, I'm just mad at politics right now because I just see all the separating and all the, the hate and negativeness one brings it's like my instagram i stopped using my instagram because i felt like i was getting sucked into the to the whole propaganda of causing the hate and jumping into the government being winning and causing the hate on my end of being so angry at the other side for having stupid views but my views are stupid compared to their views so they're angry we're angry we're all angry all angry at each other it's just stupid and it's what they want the separation so I try to look at the, the presidents as in, what do I think would be better? Who do I think would be best besides, I think we the people are best, but we have, we have to have something, right? Who would be the best person for our country, right? Trump right now between the two, Trump, yes. But I'm also tied up with the, um, the Kennedy, you know? Good man, I like a lot of his views. There's some views I don't like, but he's the opposite side. So I don't really care what side. I care about what I think is best for our country. So, you know. Anyways, yeah. I'm just angry because my me and my daughter are like bumping heads and she's just not understanding the whole civil conversation of talking about debating. It's just so anger, so much anger. And if you don't understand my ways, you're an evil person. And it's just like, you talking, you talk and you debate and you try to understand both sides. In this younger generation, they don't understand how to how debates work. It's 
my way boo hoo hoo way hey, everybody else is evil and mean because you know they don't know how to debate or understand politics at all anyways yeah i'm gonna make some eggs so we are at another day what am i gonna feed my family before i go shopping i'm trying to clear out a lot of our food that's in our storages to bring in some more food for the month i'm trying to do one big grocery shopping trip a month if you knew the channel, we are a family of 12, 10 kids living off grid in Utah, and we have small spaces. So finding good storage ways and being smart about shopping is something I'm still working on. So this week and maybe next week, I might get two weeks out of this, depending. Let's see what I can come up with meals wise. I just ran from the cabin back to the trailer to get the sweater because I'm chilly so we are making eggs for breakfast today we have chickens and the weather's getting warm so they're being really kind on not freeloading and giving us some yummy eggs to eat so right now some of the kids are having Cheerios and you want eggs yeah some of the kids are having eggs we can tell Austin doesn't want Cheerios doesn't want Cheerios he wants eggs so that's what we're doing we're frying up some eggs so we're having eggs or cereal for breakfast today today's day two the video one is down below i probably shouldn't drink my coffee so fast because i can't even get the words my words ain't coming out of my mouth and i just talked a lot on my members video so i'm completely out of freaking breath so i'm going to use some of this whole wheat bread for the kids that want eggs kind of like a sandwich they can fancy it up themselves and eat it some of my kids like their yolks runny some of them don't some of them don't like eggs so i don't really care so eggs and toast and cereal is for today's breakfast and then they can, if they have fresh fruit if they want to wash off an apple or eat a banana with it that's fine too but this is the main portion of their protein except for these cheerios i think you get actually more um mama makes my heart happy mm -hmm. not made with gmos wow that i didn't know look at that this is not made with gmos that's surprising on our members video we were talking about one of the things we talked about was how I can't even remember because I don't keep up on that I just try to avoid certain things but how Chris was saying something like Chris follows a lot of weird like conspiracy crap and I'm just like dude I don't know about all that I don't know about all that he's like deep in it so um about how they're putting like growing meat inside of like soybean shells or growing meat in some animals or growing not growing meat in animals growing meat in some kind of like vegetables lab created bullshit i don't know but that's weird i don't even know where that came from I'm talking right now i've talked about so much stuff on my vip videos my members videos now i'm just in a scramble on what the hell i'm talking about i'm gonna finish these eggs up and eat breakfast here's our cheapy old breakfast that does its job it's just eggs toast with cheese and i did put some red mint salt on it and i did use the wrong kind of knife to cut my cheese which hurt my finger but yeah some of them took them here's some more coming in for food here you go bye 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 what you want to eat caca? Me. Where's your cheese? No. Did you eat it? No. Where'd it go? Pee. Pee? I, I hear caca and pee. Me. You want cheese? Me. This. This? Okay. Me. Bye. Okay. Arabella, somebody told me you need to brush your hair. I don't think I need to brush your hair. I think it looks just fine. No, oh no, that's fertilized. No, no, that was a reflection. Not fertilized. See that bullseye? Fertilized. 
fertilized, not fertilized, fertilized, fertilized. Food in my belly. Where we live, it is legal to collect rainwater. Did you know in certain areas off grid? California is a horrible place to live off grid, by the way. But in certain areas where you live off grid, um, you aren't allowed to do so many things that you should be able to do off grid. And did you know that if you have a well and you don't earn, own the water rights that they can come in and take your water? They could even put a meter on it to see how much you're using. Just saying, if you're looking to buy land off grid, look into the rules and the laws of water rights. With summer coming up and gardening's happening, in a lot of areas, rainwater not being legal to catch, we are legal to catch. I'm just saying, but not saying, that um, we put buckets out there because it's legal for us. We can do it. It's legal. I'm just saying that if I was to live in a town and accidentally left my bucket without a lid on and it rained, that would be... That would be, oops, I, I should have put my lid on my bucket. But with summer coming up and having limited waters in some areas because of droughts, you know, and your garden dying because you can't water it properly, don't forget to put the lids on your buckets because you don't want to catch rainwater. The ground needs it really bad not your garden anyways um we got so much rain the other day we took off some of our buckets out there because we always have buckets of water out there and i like to warm up big buckets of water and let my kids wash their body off with like you know put water on it so but wash off it's just so much easier living in an rv the water lasts like five minutes and then you gotta wait for it to build up again it's just horseshit we don't have one of those things where it just automatically heats up. We don't have that hooked up to the RV. So anyways, um, we had buckets laying around out there. So we took the lids off and Chris put them over there where our water falls from our cabin because it's legal for us. And we got to water the garden with it the other day. Rainwater is like the best for your garden. Although I wonder if the rainwater is still the best for your garden with those man-made clouds and stuff. I'm not that deep on into the conspiracy, but I do wonder sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I just thought I'd pop in here and say that. You know, don't forget to put lids on your buckets this summer. Because the ground needs it. And if you're looking for um, property to buy off-grid, be smart about it. Like right now, for us, um, we have a seven-year plan to be completely mortgage debt free seven years is like our goal really hard goal to meet you know but you're literally dropping every penny you have onto being debt free at that point but that's like a good goal look into think about your goals look into rights you want to make sure if you get a well that you're going to earn own those rights that's like number one because yeah um a lot of people that live off grid have a similar mindset to um, being self-reliant. A lot of ignorant, uneducated people that like to be smart asses that pop in on the channels like this. You don't live off grid, you have internet. You guys, inter internet has nothing to do with living off grid. Internet is, um, you can be around off your solar. You know, we have, what's our internet called, Gage? Starlink. We have Starlink that runs off our solar. Um, we have water from our well, our water rights, our water. So basically living off grid means um, being not dependent on public utilities or water. And a lot of people that want to live off grid have the similar mindset. They want to be more self-reliant and not depend, dependable, depending, depends. I need some depends on, um, you know, outside sources. Just saying, just a little blab for the day of not knowing what the heck I'm talking about. I'm gonna eat my eggs and cheese, and I did not cook my eggs today in duck fat because I took a step back because I went hardcore into my um, wanting to eat all the animal fats and get all my protein, my body nutrients, 
my body nourished without a gallbladder. I fucked myself up. I got fudged up. Mom. Mom. No duck fat today. Mom. By the way, my life pace and MRI levels are now like regular, but my body did not like all that fat. Mm -mm. Mom. What? Get your food while it's hot. Probably not hot no more. Okay, let's go get the let's go get the chores done, little baby. There's <laughs> my bread hands. As fancy. I'm making dirt bread. Every time I go in the kitchen, you in the kitchen. Eating up all the food. What movie is that, you guys? What do you think? I got treats for you. You use us for treats. Yeah, we're going to use you guys to make, not you, you got no balls. But you got balls. You can make, you can make some babies. They're almost big enough to come out of there. If we let them out now, these little hens will peck the other little ones to death. But they're so close to coming out of the, the, the little outdoor coop. That's Mr. Hot shit right there. He's not aggressive at all. We got like a, a rooster that doesn't, he's chill. He doesn't like to be touched though. Okay, so what I found for lunch is pasta. Chocolate I'm gonna. Pasta, Dad. Is that Gage at Chalk and Log and Pasta? We have these Mom, beef smoked. Dad gave me this. Oh, okay, go put them on the bed. We have these beef smoked sausages. Got two of those. I'm gonna chop those suckers up, make some pasta sauce, throw it over some pasta, and then have corn and green beans on the side. Here's our fruit. We got some dried pineapple that needs to be eaten. It's gonna best by date. It's like in like two months. And then I got these freeze dried strawberry slices, which is like a treat for the kids. <laughs> nice, quick, not the healthiest, but like dessert. Also, um, if you haven't looked into making your own pasta sauce with organic tomato sauce, it's cheaper, it's healthier. They don't have all that additive crap in there and you can put in all the seasons yourself. And it is way healthier than the jarred stuff. Even though the jarred stuff sometimes can taste better. Start playing around with it. Add a little bit of sugar. Let it take the bitterness off. So much yummier than doing it this way. being cluttered because you know how it is uh, we are putting some bunks oh hold on a minute pause this okay so what we're doing in here i didn't fart on lemon's head is putting the bunks right here right here 
two bunks for Lemon and Freya. Eventually the bomb bunk will be for Piper and we'll have like sliding or opening doors to go right here. Keep that as their closet because the girls need a huge closet. We have a dress addiction on buying the girls clothes. Put a counter, uh, not a countertop, but uh, building the top up into a railed bed for Frey and a ladder to go up and into her own bed. And she'll have her own little window. It'll be so Freya, Lemon, Piper, and then um, are you still talking? Can you see I'm holding my phone and talking to it? Shoe, and then over here will be um. Uh, what's that other girl's name I have? Yeah. Arabella. Yeah. Don't come out. Alisa says he's okay. struggling. You want me to fart on you? Yes, yeah. You like when I fart on you? No. Mm -hmm. uh, you hate me, Mom? Okay, side. I'm so freaky. Tongue emoji. No, I am. <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? <laughs> so stupid. Look at your butt. It's Look at this carpet is no longer pink. It's really not as gross as it looks at all. There's like shadows and stuff. No, it's all brown. Look at, look, no, it's not. Look through the camera. Look, it looks brown. That's really brown. By the way, mom. It's by not the way, guys, brown. my mom craps herself like all the time, so we have to lay it down on that, on this. That's all the little poop marks. So you can kind of see it looks more pink now. But if I go closer, it it's looks really so brown. brown. P. Pretty. Right. It's not that done. bad. Man, it's just dirt. That's not Barbie. But you should clean it. Not Barbie. What the hell are those things? Huh? What? <laughs> what are my big old toes? <laughs> sell those. What? Sell, sell those. Up. What's wrong with my big toes? Sell them, Mom. What? <laughs> well, there's Arabella's fancy little white church jacket. That's lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys want to see how I cleaned my cast iron today? I let the dog like it. So what we are doing is putting bunks in the girls' room back there in the cabin. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner because I got to get my butt up there where our food storage is and I got to organize it because my kids been getting up there for me. And it's a literally, it's a shit show. It's everything, they've been throwing food all over the place. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I pulled out some leftover French toast. Some of us are having Marie Callender's chili. Some of the kids are having oatmeal. Some of the kids are having some of this red pepper and tomato soup and convenient foods. We were busy today working on the girls' bedroom in the cabin and putting decor up and making beds. So. And saying look at Tattoo Trail.